understanding of the ways human beings disrupt the climate advances by the day. Well, that concludes more or less today. Um, a lot of brilliant speeches, of course, if you listen to the heads of state that were all there. There were more than 150 in Paris today. And today was a day where they were all doing their speeches. Um, of course, everyone is concerned with climate change. Even Mr. Putin from Russia is now very much concerned. Ten years ago, he was slightly different. So you see some changes there. I think Obama was also clearly different if you compare it to 2009, where he was a beginning president and he was mainly attacking China. This time he was more doing the stuff that we expected already six years ago, trying to say we can do it if we do it together. Uh, also, Mr. Juncker talked on behalf of the EU. That was a bit of a middle-of-the-road speech where he was safe and, and just tried to pretend as if the EU is still in the lead. Well, we all know that also the EU is not delivering enough. And that is going to be the key challenge, of course, for this week, the coming two weeks. Will there be a deal? Everyone is having brilliant ideas, brilliant thoughts, if you listen to them. But are they really going to sign up to a binding deal that would bring us, keep us below the two degrees and preferably even lower? Will it be binding? Will there be a review mechanism five years as soon as possible? These kind of questions still need to be solved in Paris. We have two weeks. This was day one. A lot of brilliant speeches. But for the rest of the two weeks, it boils down now to action and real uh, deal making instead of just also brilliant speeching, although you have to say Obama is good in that. <laughs>